will definitely double your income in 2020. Um, here's a couple rules before we get started. Number one is participate. Anyone that you uh, that have been in my live trainings, if I've trained on stage or in my mastermind or the Alliance, or you've seen some free trainings, you know my number one rule is participate. What's the word? What's the word? Put a P in the comments if you're here to participate. Second thing is you gotta play full out. How you do anything is how you do everything. Now, in 2020, if you wanna make two, three, or four times what you made this year, cause some of you fucking need to do that, it's time to start participating full out. So I just need a 100% from you guys right now. Put that in the chat box if you are 100% committed to playing full out today. Let's get it. David Chavez is here to play full out. Robbie's here to participate. Um, Barrett Henry, Don Hillier. Who else? Jim, looks like here's here to play full out. Ben, Bertagnoli, Brian Young. I will keep calling you guys out. Adrian Garcia, my man from the Mastermind. How you doing? Brian Walsh, you here? Brian Young, you here? Darius King, where you at? Farouk Butt, are you here? Greg Spackman, how you doing, Greg? I have not seen you in quite a while. Awesome, gang. Cool, here's what I need to do to get rocking and rolling as well, is I need to identify a little bit where you guys are in your business. I need everyone to answer this question. If you do 20, less than 20 deals a year, if you're closing less than 20 transactions or making less than $100,000 a year, put a yes in the comments now. Put a yes in the chat box now. If you're, if you're doing less than 20 deals a year and you're earning less than $100,000 a year, put yes in the comments. If you, in this year, in 2019, did more than 20 deals and, uh, or actually, or you earned more than $100,000, put a no in the comments, okay? So people that did less do yes, people that did more do no, so I know. Robert Calkins, you did more. What did you do, Robert? Put in the comments, if you did more than $100,000, how much did you make in 2019? If you made less, how much did you make in 2019? Drop that number in the comments below. I wanna hear number of units and number of dollars earned. No, do not be shy. Ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. If we want to get the most out of today's training, I need you guys to be up front. Put the number of dollars that you earned, more than 20, less than 100K. That's an interesting number. That means we can start to increase yours very quickly, Darius, by charging more per deal. I don't know what my GCI is, but the statement I just go from my company said it's 1099 earnings, it's 155K. Nice job, Robert. Excellent. So just a quick overview, if you're doing less than 20 deals a year, if really you're earning less than $150,000 a year, you're a level one or two agent, really less than $100,000 a year. So what we wanna get to is level three, level four. Level three agent is doing $125,000, $150,000 or more a year. You're in that 125 to 250 range, okay? Now, if you're a level three agent, you're gonna to have to really focus on these eight things in order to double your income, but you absolutely can do it, okay? Now, I do, have, do I have anyone making at least a half a million dollars a year on this, this webinar? I don't think I will, but if, if you are, I just wanna know who you are. Put a yes in the comment if that's you. Okay, cool. So, I wanna be also really, really clear. I'm not gonna sell you anything on today's training. However, I am a salesperson. And as much as I love Ricky Carruth, you guys heard me talking about him just a second ago, me or texting back and forth, he's a free coach. I am a guy that gets paid. I charge for my services with my mastermind and with my alliance. But today, 100%, I am just gonna be here to add value. I will give you guys an invitation, but you cannot buy anything from me today when we finish this call, okay? Cool, so let's hop right into it. First thing that we gotta do in order to, actually can you guys, let me see um, real quick. Do you guys have a raise your hand option? Awesome, cool, you guys can raise your hand. Someone has their hand raised and I can't see the whole screen, let me just. Awesome, where are you from my friend? I am from Southern California, Chino Hills. Southern California, Chino Hills. How long you've been in business? Uh, 23 years. 23 years and how many deals did you do this year? Um, we did 14. 14, and what do you want to go to in 2020? 28? 
Yeah, we want to double that for sure. 20, wait, 14 times 2 is going to be uh, 20. Um, yeah, it is 28. My math is a little bit slow. Awesome. And so what will that take you revenue-wise in 2020? Um, I'm thinking it's probably going to be one point, uh, 18 million. Okay, cool. Awesome. What was your revenue this year? Um, it was about 10. So your volume was 10 this year, which is roughly 300,000 gross commission. Roughly, right? Rough, roughly, yeah. Two awesome. Seven. Cool. Awesome, man. Cool. So you're level three agent that wants to go really on to level four, which is you want to be more leveraged this year and develop that leadership. Okay. So here's, here's the stage where you're at, Marco, is in order to excel where you're at, you need to get more people into your organization and leverage and have success through community. Okay. That is how you go to half a million and 600,000 and beyond. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it. Cool. We'll see ya have to become and be as obsessed with setting new customer appointments. You have to be obsessed with setting new customer appointments. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're going to double your business in 2020, there's a few things that comes with your customers that you have to do in order to make that happen. Step number one for this point. Step number one is you've got to be able to gain more customers. Hence the reason you have to be obsessed with setting more appointments with buyers and sellers. But just gaining more customers is not the only way or actually guaranteed way to double your income. Step number two. Now this is for someone, uh, I know someone mentioned that they had done like, um, I think it was 24 deals, 180K, less than 20 deals and 100K, he's on a team, right? Here's the way that you actually can make more per customer without doing more deals. I've done this for the last five years now in my business and it's always created an increase. Is it's I charge more per customer. You have to make more per transaction. You have to make more dollars per closing. So for example, if your average commission this year was $10,000, how can you level it up to $12,500 or $15,000 a closing? Part of that is you just have to charge your customers more and part of it is you have to do bigger deals. So here's the rule. In my business, anything under $225,000 was actually becoming more and more rare is we charge a 7% commission and we keep 4.5% plus we charge a $995 processing fee on every deal. $995. So even if you do 24 deals this year, or let's say 20 deals, math easier, if you don't even do more than 20 deals again in 2020, just by adding your processing fee of $995, you'll make an extra $20,000. My mastermind partners are doing this all the time. In fact, some of the switches we've made with our mastermind partners have made them as much as $150 to $180,000 more doing the same amount of deals. So. As we look at being obsessed with setting more appointments with buyers and sellers, A, we need more customers. B, we need to charge more per deal or make more per deal. C is we need to ramp up our referral business. We need to ramp up our referral business by staying in contact, having more conversations with our sphere of influence and our past clients, okay? Step number two. Now this is the one that gets overlooked by so many of you. By, by putting a yes in the comments, how many of you guys understand you are in the sales business? Put a yes in the comments if you get that. Like, yes, you know you are a salesperson. In fact, if I pull out my broker's license, actually, I don't know what it says now because I am a broker. If I pull it out in the state of Utah, I don't know if your guys' state is different. Mine says associate broker. My old one used to say sales agent. Okay, sales agent. If you pull out your license, unless you're a broker, it's gonna be a sales agent on there. You know what it doesn't say on your license? It does not say consultant. It does not say advocate. It does not say anything besides salesperson. So, if you're a salesperson, accept that you're a salesperson, step one, okay? Step number two, part of that is master your communication skills and your sales skills. How do you do that? every single day for a minimum of 30 minutes. How many minutes? 30 minutes every single day are you practicing and mastering your sales skills. If you're a salesperson, for example, 
If I'm calling a for sale by owner, or an expired, or a sphere of influence, or a past client, or a Zillow lead, or an internet lead, or an open house lead, or I'm door knocking, it does not matter. I have to have a conversation with a human being, and I have to have the ability to A, determine is this person a lead? B, are they a motivated lead? C, now I have to have the skill set of getting the appointment scheduled so that I'm belly to belly with them. That is a sales skill, that is a communication skill. Part two of that is once I get the appointment, whether it's a buyer or a seller, I must give them a presentation and I must ask them to sign my contract. That is a sales skill. And then once I get a contract, how many of you times do you think you might need to actually sell your clients, influence your clients, communicate with your clients, persuade your clients in order to get a deal accepted? or to write the offer and flat fee companies and i buyers like Zillow or even Keller Williams or EXP or Open Door or Purple Door or Green Door or whatever the hell these companies are called. Put a yes in the comments if you are aware that technology and wholesaling and the structure of the real estate industry is changing forever. Because if you cannot admit that, you're gonna go out of business. But if you can admit it, you're gonna thrive. Just because they're coming does not mean that you have to suffer. It's called, write this down, the small guy advantage. I'm pretty successful at what I do, but I can't fucking compete with Zillow. True or true? How many of you got that? get that? Write true in the comments if you get that you and I cannot commit with their money. We can't commit with their paper or, or, or compete with their pay-per-click. We can't compete with their ability to purchase homes overpriced. We can't compete with Zillow.com even. But what can we do that they can't do is we can provide, and this is the small guy advantage, we can provide an amazing freaking experience for our customers. Here's how you're gonna generate more referrals from your active customers and beyond. It's not the customer service. Although that's important, you have to have the process, you have to serve them but it's the experience that they have. How many of you guys have had a client that you know you performed like a rock star, service was on point, and that motherfucker just didn't appreciate it at the end? In fact, he didn't appreciate it so much that he gave you a negative review on your Zillow or your Facebook or your Google or whatever it is, or he was pissed or she was pissed at closing. How many of you guys have had that client before? But how many of you guys have had this type of client? Where at the end of closing, you knew you actually had dropped the ball or it was a rough transaction or you didn't perform like you know you could have, but still they had an amazing experience and they loved you. They gave you a great review. They sent you referrals. They thought you were the god or the goddess of real estate. How many of you have had that client? That is 100% truth, 100% proof that it's about the experience that your customers are going to experience in 2020. So, the small guy advantage is this. Give them an amazing experience because Zillow can't compete with that. iBuyer can't compete with that. Keller Williams cannot compete with that. EXP cannot compete with that. No other company can compete with that if you are giving them a unique, amazing experience using the small guy advantage. Awesome, so how many of you guys are still committed how many of you guys are still committed? We've gone through these four things. Number one is be obsessed with setting qualified customer appointments. Number two is commit to 30 minutes of mastering your sales skill every single day. Number three is to grow your network. Number four is to use the small guy advantage. How many of you guys are still committed? How many of you guys are still committed? I only see one person still freaking committed. Brian Young, thank you so much for being committed. Mei Ling, hell yeah. Don Hillier, yes. Jerry, yes. Barrett, yes. Mind. And if you join us, I can't, with my accountant, save you three to $5,000, I will give you your freaking money back, okay? If I can't save you three to $5,000, I will give you your money back if you join the mastermind and can't make it happen. But you gotta do what you say you're gonna do, and you gotta manage your cash flow, and you gotta follow the tax-free wealth plan. Okay, so let me go over real quick, and I wanna know if you guys are committed or interested in doubling your income in 2020 because if you're committed, here's the eight things you gotta do to make it happen. I know for a fact, I've done this year after year. One is you gotta be obsessed with setting new customer appointments. You gotta get new appointments, you gotta be obsessed. I recommend three to five every single week or more. Number two is you gotta commit to 30 minutes a day of mastering your sales skills and your leadership skills. 
communication skills, influencer. You gotta be able to persuade and influence. Number three, grow your network, grow your tribe, grow your database. Number four, use the small guy advantage, create an amazing customer experience for your customers. Number five, maximize your growth and development. Get a coach, get a mastermind, go to live events, get into to online training programs. Number six, 80% of your success is psychological and emotional. Manage your state. Have a great morning routine, a great day routine, and a great evening routine. This will manage your state and your psychological state. Number seven, okay, cash flow management. Learn to manage your cash flow. If you can't manage a dollar, you're never going to manage a million dollars. Can't manage a dollar, you're never going to manage six figures or multiple six figures. It's not going to happen. You're going to stay broke. And number eight, maximize your tax-free wealth. Maximize your tax-free wealth by the simple steps of getting with a great accountant or getting with an environment that's going to teach you what they're doing in order to maximize their tax-free wealth. So here's what I want you guys to do. I want you to write down for just a minute your top three takeaways from today's conversation. Go ahead and write it down. Top three takeaways from today's conversation. Everyone got it written down? Write in the comments if yes, you did the, the action item at the end there. You wrote down those three. Now what I need you to do, put the raise your hand button. Raise your hand if you wrote down your top three takeaways from today's conversation. Howard Richmond. Are you there, Howard Richmond? Can you hear me, Howard? I allowed you to talk. Going once, going twice, sold. I can't hear you. Jim. Are you there, Jim? Can you hear me, Jim? Jim, what did you write down? What are your top three things you wrote down? Uh, just to be more obsessed. Uh, be, awesome. Be more obsessed with my, my goals and everything that has to do with that. And then uh, the second thing was uh, just promoting my sales, just really getting active with that. And then the third thing also is to manage the cash flow. That is, uh, I do have an LLC, but I don't know if I'm taking complete advantage of that. Awesome. I appreciate you being here. You just barely joined the Alliance recently. You're just getting started and you're already starting to take advantage of the opportunity. Thank you so much for being here and thank you for your takeaways. You bet. Have a great day. Thanks for being here. Jerry, you're up. Can you hear me, Jerry? Gotcha. Okay, top three takeaways. Gain and build more customers. Sorry, what is it? Gain, Gain and build more customers. Awesome, and be obsessed with doing that, right? Be obsessed. I love that Jim brought that up. Awesome. Number two, use the small guy advantage. Mm, awesome. Use the small guy advantage. Yep, I love that. And number three, maximize my growth through coaching and events. Awesome. So I better see you at the next mastermind, Jerry, Utah, in April. You know the deal. Awesome, man. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks, brother. All right. So who else do we got? I want to lower these hands. The links to apply. I want to invite you to go apply for the Alliance. This is if you're making less than $100,000 a year. Click on that link. It's go to dot, or it's, sorry, it's go.thewgracademy.com forward slash apply dash Alliance. You're going to feel you're going to fill out the application, schedule an, a discovery call with Ben. Now, if you're making more than $100,000 a year like Marco, I highly recommend that you fill this out. Go to wgrmastermind.com, www.thewgrmastermind.com, and apply for the mastermind. Now, just because you guys apply does not mean you'll be admitted. You'll have a conversation. The mastermind people that apply, you'll have an interview with me one-on-one -on -one to determine if you're committed or not. Validate your simple promise was David's. That's huge. You've heard me talk about that a few times now when I spoke at Brian's event as well. Validate your simple promise. Who else has a takeaway or a question? Now, when we look at these things for 2020, go ahead and put in the comments right now. Okay? Put in the comments your number one or two takeaway. Go ahead right now. Remember, we started this call. A was to participate. You said you were going to participate. B was to do it full out. How you participate full out is right now. You share in the chat box what it is, okay, your takeaways and or questions 
from today's conversation. Robert Calkins, thank you. 80% is psychological. And this is where so many people get stuck. They want the new how-to, the new strategy, the new skill set. To make a lot of money in real estate, it's freaking basic. It's simple. It's simple. But you got to line up your beliefs and your emotions. You got to believe that you can freaking do it. One of the ways that I've learned to believe I can do it is get around people that are doing it. Get around a circle of people that are actually doing it. Because I can't grow if I'm the leader of the pack all the time. David said, be obsessed with setting appointments, listing appointments. I recommend listing because you can leverage yourself, but get obsessed with setting appointments. Jerry said, 80% emotional state was one of his takeaways. Emotional state is this. 